The automotive industry was rocked recently when Jim Farley, the CEO of Ford Motor Company, made a game-changing announcement. Ford will cease the production of electric vehicles due to the environmental toll of lithium extraction. This groundbreaking decision flies in the face of the industry's march towards sustainability and zero emissions technology, challenging long-held assumptions about the environmental benefits of electric vehicles. Farley, who has long been an advocate for industry-led solutions to climate change, a legacy continued by his predecessor, Bill Ford, has expressed a significant pivot in Ford's strategy with this announcement. Until now, the transition to electric vehicles has been heralded as the industry's most promising avenue for mitigating climate change. However, Farley's remarks indicate a crucial re-evaluation of this approach, citing ethical and environmental considerations. During the announcement, Farley delves into the troubling ecological consequences of lithium extraction, a key component in lithium-ion batteries that power the majority of electric vehicles. The extraction process, he pointed out, not only scars landscapes, but also contaminates water sources. Our commitment to reducing greenhouse gas emissions and fighting climate change is unwavering, but we have to consider the full environmental ramifications of our actions, Farley said. The growing adverse impacts of lithium extraction are becoming too significant to overlook. Farley's concerns resonate with environmental activists who have long warned of the ecological devastation linked to lithium mining. Lithium-rich areas often lie in ecologically sensitive regions, such as the salt flats in Chile and Bolivia and the forests of the Congo. The mining activities in these regions wreak havoc on local ecosystems and also bring with them substantial social costs, such as labor exploitation and community displacement. Furthermore, the lithium extraction process is water intensive, exacerbating water scarcity in already vulnerable areas. By halting its EV production, Ford has triggered an industry-wide reassessment of what sustainable transportation truly entails. The decision forces both automakers and regulators to scrutinize not just the end-use emission of electric vehicles, but also the ethical and environmental costs embedded in their production cycles. With this paradigm shift, Ford is urging the industry to move beyond a narrow focus on tailpipe emissions and consider the broader environmental footprint of electric mobility. Ford's abrupt halt in the production of electric vehicles is more than just a corporate pivot. It's a seismic shift that challenges the automotive industry's prevailing sustainability narratives. Until this point, the transition from fossil fuel-driven vehicles to EVs was broadly seen as the panacea for the industry's carbon footprint. However, Ford's decision throws a wrench into this simplified understanding, compelling us to re-examine whether electric vehicles are unequivocally better for the environment. CEO Jim Farley's revelation not only shocked stakeholders, but also broadened the sustainability discourse beyond mere emission metrics. We're not abandoning our commitment to environmental stewardship or the fight against climate change, Farley stated. Rather, we're evolving our strategy to incorporate a more nuanced understanding of sustainability, one that considers the full environmental impact, from material sourcing to end of life. This strategic recalibration from one of the world's automotive giants could have a ripple effect throughout the industry and beyond. It places other automakers, policymakers, and investors under the microscope, urging them to scrutinize the environmental ramifications of EV manufacturing, especially where lithium sourcing and processing are concerned. Farley's decision could act as a catalyst for innovation, opening up new vistas in green energy storage solutions such as solid state batteries or hydrogen fuel cells. Ford's stance has potential ramifications not only for rival car manufacturers who are deeply invested in EVs, but also for stakeholders across the supply chain, including lithium miners and battery producers. These entities now find themselves at an inflection point, compelled to reassess their operations in light of new sustainability queries. In essence, Ford's unexpected move may well serve as a wake-up call for the industry stimulating research and innovation in truly sustainable automotive technologies. It questions not just the tactical approaches of automakers, but also the strategic imperatives guiding investment and policy decisions. By challenging the status quo, Ford is inviting a broader, more holistic conversation on sustainability, one that could redefine the industry's trajectory toward a greener future. Automakers like Tesla, General Motors, and Volkswagen, who have poured vast resources into their EV initiatives, may find themselves under heightened scrutiny in the wake of Ford's game-changing announcement. The focus could very well shift from merely transitioning to EVs to deeply examining the sustainability of supply chains, especially in battery production and material sourcing. 
This extra layer of complexity adds a new set of challenges to the already intricate task of mass-producing electric vehicles. The ripples of Ford's decision could also reach the lithium mining sector, which has been booming in countries like Australia, Chile and China due to skyrocketing global demand for lithium. A reduction in this demand, triggered by Ford's policy change, could depress lithium prices, thereby affecting economies that are dependent on lithium extraction. Similarly, battery producers, who have largely standardized around lithium-ion technology, could find themselves at a crossroads. Ford's pivot toward exploring alternative, eco-friendly energy storage options could serve as a catalyst for groundbreaking research and development in battery technologies that do not rely on ecologically harmful processes. However, it's important to note that this move doesn't signal an industry-wide halt in electrification. EVs continue to be a vital aspect of global efforts to curb greenhouse gas emissions. The real challenge now lies in achieving genuine sustainability in EVs by taking into account not only tailpipe emissions, but also the full environmental cost of production. Jim Foley was explicit in stating that this pivot doesn't mean Ford is retreating from its long-standing commitment to sustainability or mitigating climate change. Instead, the automaker aspires to pioneer new, more sustainable pathways for the industry. Our aim is to spearhead the development of groundbreaking technologies that drive us all toward a greener future, Fali articulated. The task at hand is monumental, but the potential benefits are equally significant. This pivotal moment could foster leaps in battery innovation, inspire more ecologically benign mining practices, and catalyze an industry-wide shift toward comprehensive life cycle sustainability. Ford's recent announcement to discontinue EV production due to ethical concerns surrounding lithium extraction calls attention to the essential role governments play in guiding the automotive industry toward more sustainable practices. Up until now, global governments have predominantly focused on incentivizing the consumer adoption of EVs through mechanisms like emission standards and tax credits. In the United States, for instance, EV tax credits aim to make these vehicles more financially accessible, encouraging a switch from traditional gas-powered cars. However, Ford's groundbreaking decision suggests that policy frameworks may need to evolve to adopt a more nuanced approach to sustainability. This new perspective on sustainability could extend beyond merely incentivizing reduced vehicle emissions to also encompass the environmental ramifications of vehicle production, most notably the sourcing and extraction of raw materials. Could future policies include rewards for automakers who commit to sustainable sourcing practices or even penalties for those who ignore environmental concerns? Furthermore, Ford's pivot may also fuel research into alternative green technologies and influence the regulations that guide them. Hydrogen fuel cells, for example, offer a potentially greener alternative to lithium-ion batteries, but have been stymied by high costs and insufficient infrastructure. Might Ford's bold steps stimulate more significant investments in this direction? Solid-state batteries also present a compelling alternative, promising greater energy density, quicker charge times, and enhanced safety compared to current lithium-ion batteries. A re-channeling of resources to tackle existing challenges could bring about breakthroughs that fundamentally change the EV landscape. Additionally, attention may now turn towards the responsible recycling and repurposing of batteries, an area that has been somewhat neglected. Currently, many expired EV batteries wind up in landfills, adding to environmental degradation. Advances in battery recycling technologies could enable the recovery and reuse of valuable materials, diminishing the demand for newly extracted resources. Jim Farley's announcement has reverberated throughout the automotive industry, prompting a reassessment of its present trajectory toward environmental sustainability. It serves as a clarion call for automakers, policymakers, and society at large to reevaluate and perhaps redefine the path toward a more sustainable future.